guys and welcome to part 3 of my modding f6 series um, today I'm gonna show you how to install freeware sceneries um, first guess what open up your web browser go to something like um, avsim.net or which I uh, mostly like better uh, for freeware sceneries is fsfreeware.net so go to fsx so there you have some options to choose and here whoa, scenery textures Castle, Faro, Granada, whatever you want, just Texagaco, Honduras, a freeware scenery. So, um, I want to have a castle scenery, so click on that, scroll down, click on download, scroll down, click on download. Called Swai. Click on F6 Freeware. Scenery. So, as you see, I uh, already downloaded much freeware scenery, so this is, will be called an X. So, wait until the download is completed and uh, so we can move on. So, I already co closed my Internet Explorer, so. Open the explorer again, go to the directory you download it, add ons, freeware, scenery. So there I have Kelvin 2. Unpack again, programs for unpacking, links in the description. Um, well, so you have a uh, file, a uh, folder. So um, generally there should be a readme file with it, but uh, however I'm going to show you uh, one time how to do this. So um, the only thing you have to do is go back into the folder and copy this main folder of it with the folders of optional scenery and texture in it. So now you go to your Flight Simulator X main directory. Flight Simulator X. So now you have the add on scenery folder. Click on that and then paste it in there. They have Calden they with all the files in it and so on. So next thing you have to do is close. Explorer. So now go back to your FSX um, again. As I say it in every tutorial with installing any freeware. Um, generally, um, you can say if you install any rip or freeware file, you don't have to close FSX while installing. Um, it's only recommended when using an uh, automatic installer, but this is all uh, only a payware add-on or something like this. So now go to settings, settings, scenery library. So that's my scenery library. Now the last thing you have to do to activate it is now click on add area. Now add on scenery, calm, click OK, go back to add on scenery and it's added. So you have the calm scenery and that's what done. Now you have to click OK. So now you have to wait a little bit because it's now generating the new scenery library files. 
So, it's finished creating it, and now you could fly your new scenery. Well, again, thanks for watching this tutorial, part 3, and uh, please don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment down there, and uh, the upper button. So, uh, see you guys, thanks for watching again, and bye.